Hi everyone, right, I've been sent multiple times the new video by Jesse Enkamp uh, on, uh, and Kasem Saguri uh, about the new ninja video he did. Excuse my voice, I've had a cold for the weekend. Right, now, there's a problem here. Okay, first of all, I absolutely respect Jesse Enkamp. He's got a great channel and he does a lot for the marsh, traditional martial arts community. I have great respect for Kasem's uh, martial arts ability no problem and they both seem like nice guys and everything no problem there um however this video is a massive step back for ninja history this video is literally turning the clock backwards against all the research that has been done over the last 10 to 15 years and it is absolutely historically incorrect and not correct in any way shape or form with a couple of little highlights that can be said. If you're interested in the ninja guys, start here. The Book of Ninja. This is a translation of the Bansen Shukai. It was done by Yoshie Minami and myself as project manager. And we put this out over 10 years ago. And this has been available. And we've done lots and lots of stuff. So let me quickly go through. I'll try and keep this video as short as possible. But I'm going to explain why Jesse Enkamp's video is just not credible at all you know what i mean that's a problem and it's not his fault he's gone to a ninja master so first of all let's say uh, what i was quite they, they've there's been a slight manipulation of the words here so it says train with a ninja master okay and he trains with a ninja master and he does martial arts okay this is a problem there is no and i'm gonna use the term hand-to-hand -hand combat he does hand-to-hand -hand combat whether it's armed combat or unarmed combat there is absolutely zero evidence whatsoever. And not only that, historical research shows that there is no specific martial art dedicated to the ninja that the ninja practiced anywhere in history. And it's not it's not true. Now, they've done a bit of a, a, a linguistic turn here because they can say, oh, it was a ninja master, but he taught me martial arts. Well, you're starting to move between two languages here. Let me give you an example. Imagine if I said to you, excuse me, I'm still really ill. Imagine if I said to you, uh, I was doing some martial arts, yeah, bang, and you went, what's that? And I went, this is called the martial art of spying. You'd be like, what? And if it was like, I was doing some bang, bang, and you said, what's that? And I said, it's the martial art of cooking. You'd be like, what are you talking about? So this is the problem with ninjas. Ninja, ninjas, or shinobi no mono, studied the arts of shinobi no jutsu, ninjutsu. And what they did is espionage, counter-espionage, um, what you would class as anti-terrorism, tracking down people, infiltration, all of those things. So people, so there is no such thing as a ninja martial art, which people then say, oh, so the ninjas didn't fight. Yes, they fought, but they used martial arts. They used hand-to-hand -hand combat. So we, the Japanese have names for them. Yawarate, taijutsu. Um, Kenjutsu, Shuriken Jutsu, all of these things, the Japanese have different names for them. But the art of ninjutsu is not that. Now, the ninja might have to fight, but they never used anything like what Kasem shows there as a form of ninjutsu. It's such a twisted play on words with the video because the viewer is meant to go to Jesse Enkamp's video and say, okay, I want to fight like a ninja. This is how a ninja fought. Well, yeah, but so did the Ashigaru. So did the samurai. And to be honest, he's fighting in a very Bujinkan style, which is very different to how other styles do. Now, I, I'm not having a go at Bujinkan or Kasem's martial arts ability. I quite like Kasem's stuff. But what I'm trying to say here is, what they teach is not ninjutsu at all, at all. Now, you're one of two types of people. You're either, you've been in the ninja community for the last 10 to 15 years, and you know exactly what I'm talking about. An array of people have studied the ancient scrolls. There has been an array of translations which have come out of multiple scrolls that Mie University in Japan have now got on board with it. I was the guy who started all this, um, over a decade or so ago, well, more than that now. And we have collectively, probably between between one and 5,000 people out there studied 
these ninja documents with people like Stephen Nogiri at its head and myself there and other people really going to town on it. And the conclusion is simple that these ninja martial arts organizations were a product of the martial arts boom in the mid 20th century. So Kasem is actually a product of the, the Bujinkan, which is a product of Takamatsu uh, Sensei, who established, and he wasn't the only one trying to establish a modern sort of, this is real ninjutsu, we have it. So the problem is, is that the Bujinkan became very famous and they got the credibility. <coughs> in my opinion, there are no ninja masters left in the world. There are about two or three people who claim it to be. But we've never seen a single piece of proof of this. And all of the proof goes towards the fact that ninjutsu died out. And there is no such thing as a ninja martial art. So where Kasem's talking about oh, hidden infiltrate, deception or not seeing. And all of this not moving with the hips, not doing this. He is that those skills are amalgamations from lots of other arts. Which were repackaged in the 20th, 20th century, 1950s, 1960s, 1970s, and then distributed throughout America and the world, and then evolved in the 1990s to become what it is today. It is nothing to do with the Sengoku period or the medieval period whatsoever. So imagine I said I was a cook, yeah, and I'm cooking, and somebody tries to hit me, and I'm using a frying pan. And I hit them with the frying pan and I've used all these techniques to, to lock them with the frying pan. I can't call that martial art cooking, can I? I can't say I visited a cook master, like I visited a ninja master. So the same as reading. So imagine I, I'm reading, I love reading. And somebody attacks me, so I smash them in the throat with the book. I block their punch with my book, advert. <laughs> it's not block with punch. I smash him in the throat, and I say, "People say, oh, what martial art did you use?" Well, I use the martial art of reading. Yeah, that's how twisted they're trying to push this. It's not true. So the same as I am a spy. If I'm a spy and I'm out there, or I'm doing covert activity, and somebody sees me, and I have to kill them, and I draw my knife and I stab them in the throat, and I'm in World War Two. Am I using the th um, the Fairburn tactics? Am I using um, Victorian jiu-jitsu that was taught what am I using or oh, what I'm not using spying as a martial art okay <coughs> so if you're still with me the problem we've got here guys is that Jesse Ankamp has gone to a ninja master so that you guys can learn the arts of the ninja and he is unaware of all this it seems and then Kasem who is a well-known member of the Bujinkan and is well aware of all these arguments is teaching him something and saying it is what the ninja did. Maybe they did in the sense that the cook might have also done it. The the archer might have done it. The the swordsman might have done it. The the esoteric tactician who studies the stars. He might have done it. All of it. It's just like saying I've, I visited a Japanese warrior expert. yeah, Or I visited a Japanese martial arts expert. But they've picked ninja to sort of confuse you. And to think that the ninjas did this specifically. They didn't. And this has become very, very um, common now is people have stopped using the term ninjutsu because you can say that's not ninjutsu. And they say a ninja would fight like this. But yeah, but not because they're a ninja, but because they live in old Japan and they study Japanese martial arts. So there is to be very clear, guys, there is no specific martial art or hand to hand combat anywhere in any of history at any point which says this is how the ninjas fought differently to the samurai. They didn't. They fought exactly the same. There's no no problem. They fought exactly the same in a broad sense of the term. So basically, guys, I um, I did try to contact Jesse Enkamp many, many years ago on Facebook. He had read my message, but I then left Facebook. But he didn't reply in a year or two years. You know what I mean? I have tried multiple times. Like people like him... And martial arts journey are doing an amazing job for traditional martial arts. I mean, a really amazing journey, uh, j job. <coughs> but the problem is, and I don't know why, but Jesse Enkamp has connected himself to Kasem, which is to connect himself to the Bujinkan on two videos now. And 
and in the first video, the samurai video, information from my work was actually spoken in that video, which which wasn't there. Ten years ago, before I started all my work, people said the ninjas were, you know, evil and deceptive or blah, blah, blah. And they worked in the shadows, whereas the samurai didn't and did, didn't did do, you know, they did nice things and honourable things. But now the, 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 the world is changing a bit because I started changing that thing. And you can see bits of it have got into everyone's work and they even mention in that video like the, the taking of heads and the stealing of heads. That's a directly taken out of, um, I think, Hayeki Yoho from the Book of Samurai series. Which they are all well aware of my work in the Bujinkan, they're well aware. So it's frustrating because, so if Jesse Enkamp is watching this, honestly respect to your channel and everything, but please, please, you are literally, you have now, as of today, it's got 100,000 views and that means you've made 100,000 people believe incorrectly that the ninjas had their own form of martial arts, which they did not. And that the ninjas had their own form of hand-to-hand -hand combat, which they did not. There is no proof of that. So in that video, say it gets a million hits. My video's got nowhere near that. And I can probably say I've reached overall <coughs> a maximum of, say, 100,000 at the top end for what is Ninja, but people who've taken notice, probably 10,000, on people who really know what they're talking about, five to 1,000. So if Jesse Enkamp gets a million hits on this, Jesse, if you're watching, you will have made 100 times more people or 1,000 times more people. So one in 1,000 people will believe me and one in 1,000 people will believe you. But you asked a doctor who was got his PhD on behalf with the Bujinkan to support the Bujinkan, who has well and truly supplied no evidence anywhere of any of what he says for any of the ninjutsu. And this has been discussed. This is not me having to go at Kasem. As I say, I respect Kasem's martial arts, and I, th I think he's a nice man. He seems nice. But the problem is, it simply is, he believes Hatsumi. Kasem has a PhD, but does, he basically, in his book, said, forget all the medieval evidence throw it away he says this in his book jesse throw the medieval evidence away because it's not worth anything a phd person said the medieval evidence is not worth anything and we should take the oral tradition speech of a mid 20th century man who was known for lying even the wolfgang peterson i think even the biography of takamatsu if you read the footnotes shows on multiple occasions he's lying the man who created the bujinkan was a master assassin for the Japanese government, the last ninja, a man who defeated two sumo wrestlers professionally. He beat 50 um, gangsters at a bridge, all of which have no, no evidence whatsoever. There's nothing to support it. It's just some stories he told a man who paid him to train him to be the last ninja. And lots of the stuff they teach comes straight out of comic books. Now, what Kasem has done cleverly is strip the comic book stuff out and give it and there's a manipulation of actual truth here so for example when you asked about kuji kiri you know uh, kuji kiri sorry you said oh you know or kuji in i've seen these signs kuji in signs nobody kasem did not say they're actually pre-japanese they're not ninja they're buddhist and they're they at least come from china they may be used in taoism they may be used in buddhism they possibly go all the way back to india but there's nine select ones which definitely come from china and most likely are a spell to get rid of evil spirits and to produce a line of ghosts behind you and that the japanese adopted this and that in the 20th century in the 20th century, they were associated with the ninja, even though they have no historical association beyond the fact that it's in Japan and everybody in Japan was using them. Monks, samurai, ninja, yamabushi, mountain people, healers. It's not a ninja thing, it's a Japanese thing, which was from China. Okay, and for example, um, the, the Tay Claws and all that. He shows you, and the... Um, the sickle and chain, yeah. The sickle and chain says ninja use it in two way for fighting or for cutting grass. That's not true. Medieval documentation totally tells us that they use it for breaking through castle camp walls, for smashing through, for cutting through bamboo. They have specific ways of folding them out and doing it. There is nowhere anywhere that said they fight with them. It literally is a mistake because some people in the 20th century said, hey, hold on. The nin in these medieval ninja scrolls, they have kusuri basically they just have kama really they don't even really have kusuri gama that much they have kama and if we had a rope to it we could swing it and it's all very ninja yeah and it, 
it's made up. It was probably made up by Yumi Onawa in the 1950s, 60s, something like that. But in fairness, it was just all made up in the 20th century. So my plea is to Jesse Enkamp. Please, Jesse Enkamp, please do a redo the video. You don't have to delete it. It's your video, of course. But you, if you love traditional martial arts, Jesse, you are destroying a decade of research and promoting incorrect traditional Japanese um, martial arts and you are setting history back when there are a few thousand people who are dedicated to getting this right, but your popularity has just knocked out 10 years worth of work and sends everyone back to ninja and assassins. They dress in black, they use shuriken, and they can have a special martial arts, and there's real ninjas you can train with in Japan. All of that is wrong, Jesse, but your video has just told everyone, if a million people watch it, you've just set everybody's research back because, for some reason, you have chosen to ignore a decade of modern research. If you don't want to speak to me, speak to Stephen Nogiri. If you don't want to speak to Stephen Nogiri, speak to Yu Yuji Yamada at the Mie University. Or even if you want to speak to someone Japanese um, who's a practitioner, then speak to um, Kawakami Sensei, who will tell you there is no ninja hand-to-hand -hand combat. Ninjas did hand-to-hand -hand combat, but not specific to them. That's it. All right, guys. <clears throat> I better go at the minute. By the way, Jesse, I've tried to contact you many times. Please email me and we'll have a chat, a Skype chat or whatever. Uh, again, no disrespect to any of the channels. I hate doing these types of videos, but that is a very, very, very bad video that will destroy a lot of research that has been done by a lot of people who've put a lot of time and effort into this. Not to mention tens of thousands of pounds uh, between not just me and other people as well so it's a bit of a, a bit of a thing uh, i live on a building site because we're refurbishing some barns but if anybody can host me and jesse Enkamp, it would be brilliant to get us together and jesse i would absolutely take you through samurai training ninja training real training but you know it might not be as exciting because we can't burn any villages down we can't murder anyone we can't sort of like spend and you're probably nobody's going to be excited at tracking the stars and the tides that move in and out and listening to the bird calls to tell if the tide is in to see if I can bypass and if the army can pass at a certain time. All that type of stuff, Jesse, is what people have been doing for years to get away from this Hong Kong Fu Ninja. So if you can, Jesse, please contact me. Let's try and work some out and actually do real samurai and real history. And I will 100 percent prove what I teach you from the medieval documents 100 percent there's my offer right guys thank you very much please subscribe and let me know what you think